Gregory Brown, yes. what did you learn this week? So this week, I learned that they discovered, they very recently discovered that Who's three, they, they, as in they, science, <laughs> as, a, as a concept, as a can, scientific canon discovered <laughs> okay. that three species of flying squirrel give off UV fluorescent pink colors. What? Oh. So like, obviously lots of birds and butterflies and fish. Like, what fish, does it mean? They fluoresce under okay. ultra in an ultraviolet spectrum, right? Okay. But we can't ever see or notice this because we do not see UV light. Right. But if we had a UV flashlight and like shone it in the ocean, we could see the UV fish, the fish that give off UV light. Or I if we sh- yeah. have a question and I don't know if I'm dumb. How, how do they know it's Pink? Because that's the color that it actually gives off when you look at it with a UV flashlight or a UV I light. See. Yeah, so like, it's like technically sometimes not it's orange. Pink. No, no, no. But it, it, it the appears... color pink is in the spectrum that we can see. Yeah, right? like when it when they like... use UV technology to shift it to visible light for our eyes, it appears pink, and it would probably appear pink maybe to those like animals that can see UV light, but. Mammals like flying squirrels, it's a lot more rare to like give off like UV fluorescence. Mm-hmm. Whereas birds, which can actually see in that spectrum, it makes a lot more sense. That's so cool. So, yeah, it's so cool. I, I love this story because it's like a guy in his backyard who was a scientist with a UV flashlight who noticed it. Like, and I was just like, what a quirky little dude that like and goes it took outside. took them until 2019 to figure that out. That seems surprising. Well, they're not necessarily that like no doing one that like all the time. was using like. UV spectrum goggles or whatever. Well, they didn't think they they would think. Why would we look at like a mammal to to look for this type? But of I don't thing. even mean a scientist, just like a random human who happened to have I don't know. Is that a technology that people just have? Maybe well, not. I guess this this guy is a biologist and uh-huh. he does do this. Uh-huh. But also, cool. it's only three species of flying squirrel. It's not all flying squirrel. That's really cool. But so, they think it's this is why this is the coolest part is that owls give off the exact same pinkish color, and owls are the predator of flying squirrels, and they can see in UV light. Right? So they think what it is is that the flying squirrels are have evolved to like when they fly give off this pink that camouflages them to look like an owl, Whoa. so that owls won't eat them. That's really cool. Yeah, that, I, and I mean that's just from them discovering this pink. They don't know if that's actually right. the case, that's but like I'm like that's really interesting. If hypothesis. owls give it off too, it makes sense that they're like, oh, I'm just a flying owl. Don't touch me. And I'm like, that's really cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Because the other end of the spectrum is that they just randomly turn pink and there's no reason. No, but. I'm sure it's not random. I mean, it's like when you realize this spectrum of color that like bees see flowers and it's so cool and pretty when they give you like illustrations of what it would look like. Yeah. Uh, and butterflies and birds give it off for mating and stuff like that. It's like so cool to think that we can't see it. We're it's just happening so all around us. Pathetic. Yeah. We have our, <laughs> our measly little UV spectrum of the electromag that we can see. It's pathetic. <laughs> 